Susie, the school bully that is feared by most students and even Miss Alphys herself. She's been a jerk ever since she moved to Chris's school. And out of everyone, she attacked Chris more than anyone else. Noelle mentions in her blog post that everyone knows how much Susie hates Chris, yet Chris seems oblivious to it. But when I started looking deeper into Deltarune, I have come up with a neat discovery that may say otherwise. This is my theory of why Susie doesn't hate Chris. Before getting into the theory, I should mention that I'll mainly be talking about chapter 1 in this video, since both Chris and Susie think of each other as friends by the end of chapter 1, and also, if you want to see more Deltarune content, please consider subscribing, it's 100% free, and helps this channel out more than you could ever imagine. So as we all know, Susie has been a jerk to Chris ever since she moved to the school. But I don't think this harassment is out of hatred. Susie is a jerk to most people, besides Noelle. And Chris doesn't give Susie any reaction to it. That's why I think that Susie specifically targeted Chris, because she knows that they will let her. That being said though, it's revealed in Noelle's blog post that Susie really doesn't like it when Chris stays silent. And to that, I think Susie is using this as a way to get some sort of reaction out of Chris. But upon getting that reaction, she runs out of the room like she's seen a ghost. This makes me believe that Susie doesn't care about getting a reaction from Chris anymore, and continues to pick on them because they will let her. Now let's move into the events of Chapter 1. When Chris leaves the classroom to get the chalk with Susie, Susie threatens to bite Chris's face off but she decides not to because she doesn't want their mother to bury her own child. Why would Susie care about Toriel if she hated Chris? Susie even tells Chris that their mother would be happier without them in Noelle's blog post, so why not make Toriel happier by removing Chris from the picture? Let's fast forward to the closet scene. Both Susie and Chris are scared to enter the darkroom, and once the door closes on them, Susie yells, Let us out! Not let me out, let us out! possibly hinting that she doesn't want Chris to be locked in that dark closet. Upon falling into the dark world, Chris and Susie reunite when Chris interacts with this dust pile. Susie seems to relieve that it's Chris, and proceeds to say, enough screwing around, we gotta find a way out of here. Once again referring to the both of them, and not just herself. In the next room, they meet Lancer, who attacks him with his spades. Look at Susie's expression as she yells, R run Chris! And after they get to the cliff, Chris, down here! Susie is signaling Chris, as the two of them run away from Lancer. If none of my previous points hint towards Susie caring about Chris, this point for sure does. There's no doubt in my mind that Susie says this because deep down, she really does care about Chris. I mean, why would she if she hated them? After reaching Castletown, Susie teases Chris once again by saying, Oh, you're not dead? Sweet. But I don't think this has anything to do with Susie hating Chris. Heading up towards the castle, they meet Ralsei, and Susie tells them to just tell the two of them how to get home, once again making sure that Chris is included in the sentence. Lancer arms up Bargian and tells Chris and Susie his plan to ensure that they won't see the fountain. Step 1, he thrashes them. Step 2, they lose. And Susie replies, Mind if we use it on you instead? This is the last time I'm going to highlight the parts where Susie used the term we to include Chris, because there sure are a lot of them, huh? But I can't stress enough how little these comments seem, but actually mean a whole lot more in the bigger picture. Why would Susie use the term a we, when she could have just left Chris out and say me instead? When reading the dialogue between Ralsei and the two heroes, I think it's safe to say that Susie isn't very fond of Ralsei, and that's my reasoning for why she leaves Chris after the fight with Lancer, making sure to say to Chris, see you at school. When meeting back up with her up by the sealed door, she says, great, it's you guys. And I think she is annoyed by the party because Ralsei's in it. If it was just Chris that showed up, I'm sure she would have reacted differently. And this is also my reasoning for when Ralsei tells her that they can't proceed without the three of them, and she responds with, So you're saying I have to stick with you guys? Fast forward to the box puzzle, Susie backs Chris when they screw up the puzzle, which I want to believe is just to piss off Ralsei. Also, if Susie hated Chris, why would she make these comments? To me, it seems that she just finds enjoyment when Ralsei suffers. And now, let's move on to the C round and K round fight, where I found some more interesting dialogue from Susie that may explain why she bullies people in the first place. 
During C round, she explains that it attacked them, so it dies. Which not only hints that she is fighting enemies out of self-defense, but also leads into the next bit of dialogue in the K round fight after Elsie tells Susie to stop attacking it. And let it think I'm afraid? This quote means so much more if you think about it, and why she continues to bully Chris after being scared off by them. She doesn't want Chris, or anyone else to think that she is afraid. She wants to show no signs of weakness in front of anyone, especially Chris after what had happened that day. This may explain why she bullies people in the first place. She wants everyone else to think that she isn't afraid of anyone. Perhaps Susie was bullied at her last school, because she showed signs of weakness, which other people took advantage of. And that is what caused her to start bullying other people, so she wouldn't get bullied. It's not about hatred, it's about fear. Susie is scared that if she isn't known as a person who could just wreck anyone who stood in her way, then she would be at risk of being harassed herself, just like in her previous school. This makes so much more sense when you think about it. Everything I've said up to this point all ties together just because of this quote. And this would also explain why she easily becomes friends with Chris and Rothsky at the end of chapter 1. Because she now knows who they truly are, and realizes that she could have real friends that care about her and like her for who she really is. As for Lancer, Susie only joins him after Ralsei talks negatively about her, and her friendship with Lancer is only initially there because they're both against the party. And while hanging out with Lancer, that's when she starts to realize what it means to be a real friend, and that's why she doesn't kill Lancer in the king's basement. Both Lancer, Chris, and Ralsei help show Susie that people care about her, and they won't think differently or attack her for showing signs of weakness. At the beginning, when the four of them have their fight, Susie knows that she can't get back without Chris and Ralsei, but she chooses to be the villain instead, because being a good guy suggests that she isn't as powerful as she wants everyone else to think. And even in this fight, if Chris and Ralsei compliment Susie, she will hesitate for a brief moment before getting right back into the fight. This is undoubtedly evidence that Susie has a heart deep down, but is forced to conceal it for her own safety. Let's move back to the start of the video with all of this in mind. It makes so much more sense now why everyone believes that Susie hates Chris, because she is forced to act this way so she doesn't get picked on again. And because Chris gives her no reaction, she knows that they are an easy target. Sure, it may be wrong to be a jerk to everyone else just to ensure that you won't get bullied, but that is far from hating someone. And that once again explains why Susie ends up becoming friends with Chris after being around them for just one day in the Dark World. It's because she knows that she can trust them, as well with Ralsei and Lancer. Chris protected her from the king even after all she has done to them. She knows that she doesn't have to be a great big bully anymore and she can just be herself. And that is why she is slowly becoming less and less rude as chapters go on. Because you can't change your personality like that in just one night. It takes time. Even other characters like Birdly and Noelle come to realize in chapter 2 that Susie isn't who they thought she was. And could even consider her a friend. And that ends my theory on why Susie never hated Chris. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with my theory, as I'd love to hear everyone's thoughts. But just make sure to respect each other's opinions and not start a whole on brawl down there. Like come on, you don't have to be a jerk to someone else just so you don't get bullied by them. Honestly, life lesson. I hope you all enjoyed listening to my thoughts on the matter, and if you want to hear my Deltarune theories, please consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me, and heavily motivate me to bring out better content. But honestly, I don't know how I could ever top this theory. It just makes so much sense to me now, and I really want to believe this theory to be canon. But yeah, thanks for watching all the way to the end, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.